trail by uh, what 15 points and see if they can do something with this turly kick down to Nates oh good mark surely this time for the D's that mark was a class a stamp of class and a real Royce Hart job that one terrific leap strong hands conversion needed here though from Nietz and the crowd's just seated on the big scoreboard again and a second cheer for him but his concentration is elsewhere for Melbourne's first goal they need one trailing by 15 30 meters out directly in front he kicks and he goals no that was excellent excellent the way he came out because the opponent you've got also got to take it into account the opponent that is on him and it's Danny Southern and it wouldn't be easy to do because Southern is a check close checking fellow and here's Neitz good leap look at that and the ball out in front and you couldn't go crooked uh, Southern because he tried desperately but he was just outclassed on that uh, occasion he wasn't far behind him Don. so these two will continue their battle Steins and wind We'll be saying that a bit this afternoon. Stein's arguably that one. Now it's uh, Polly. Neats. Oh, strong hands. And again, Danny Southern right with him, but he wasn't able to do much. Knock the ball away or knock his arms. Again, he jumped just a fraction early and more or less took it as a chess mark and took it out in front. Again, a good mark. David Neats has kicked one goal, one. Closer in this time, from 20 metres out, he kicks some goals, he's got two for the quarter. And continuing on the form he displayed at Footy Park last week, reducing the deficit to three points. Another excellent mark, and again, I wouldn't be going crooked Southern. Just the ability of Neitz. pretty well this time to Hunter and just really just tumbles it forward to Cal. And Darren Cal, been winging half back, comes across the ground, Clark, some good hands. Here's Phoebe, he can make a decision with his kick this time. Needs with a set. Ah, oh, too easy. Isn't he an exceptional? An exceptional mark, David Needs. It's good though from Phoebe, just made a couple of blue shows, really, he's butted up well there. Yeah, but that's this ball, I'm sorry, uh, this ball really not delivered in the right way in as much as it's gone to an opponent but Nietzsche has come over the back just watch there look. He always going to jump wasn't he new day off coming on for melbourne is o'brien so david Nietzsche from 30 meters kicks gullaby has a move third goal they lead by 13 points Isn't it funny you watch players in many games of football and you see players who never they've got reputations but you never see them play a good game and Neitz as far as that goes falls into that category as far as I'm concerned but today I've seen some real ability shown by Neitz he's a very good player and Jakovic coming off and Darcy on Henry throw-ins Stein it's Rowan Sawyers well done Rowan with the free kick to Hopgood Hopgood kicks up towards Southern, who couldn't take the mark. Farmer to Clarkson was good handball. Long bomb down the oh. Neats! Oh, he's marking everything except the grandstand roof today. So that was another excellent mark from Neats. Pretty hooked the man. A real finger tipper, literally. Look at this. But the beauty was he worked himself in front. He's kicked three goals too so far. Top form last week at Footy Park, again today at the MCG. <laughs> Player on the mark, threw his mouth guard up in the air to try to put him off. It didn't work. That was pretty hook. And Malcolm, can we get a little bit heavy into football for a moment? He's got a beautiful kicking style. A good leg, Malcolm? Is that what you're going to say? <laughs> Long leg. Long leg. <laughs> no, it's a nice, most relaxed style, isn't it? I think... Um, he really does take a long run up and gets nice and balanced. Yeah, nice and balanced, but also with the execution. It's a nice toward in step and he just kicks through the ball. It's just a beautiful style. There's not much margin for error. Hucking contest there. Darcy farms it out. He's opposite number 14. There's Polly onto Clarkson. Clarkson loves a goal. A snap won't quite get there. Melbourne with the number. Oh, 
Oh, he got Polax Leeks. Might be 50 metres. And I'd ask you, why not? Yes, I'd ask the question too, Peter. We may get it on replay of how he was dealt with. It was right, pretty here it is. There, he's taken the mark. Bang. Mm. Malcolm? Hooked it, Peter. I'd have to agree. It was pretty late. Four goals, two. David Neitz has kicked out of Melbourne's tally of 7-6. And this is not an easy kick. He really has given them a focal point on the forward line. Twenty goals before today, so twenty-four for the season. Now this could be twenty-five. And is. Actually, I gave him a rap earlier for his kicking, but that's he was rather awkward in his kicking style on that occasion. Different to his other kicks when he was a little way out from distance. And here's the build-up once again, and we'll just watch here as he gets crunched. David Neitz, eyes for the ball, Mark, and then Dimitina, bang, that could have been a bad one. Ooh. Yeah, if you wonder sometimes who makes the game of football, those blokes in the middle or the blokes that can catch it up forward. No, oh, Peter, I don't think he's got the mobility to go with Steins. Well, well interesting one, Don, but Steins is having a field day at the moment, so too Melbourne. Neitz, well, he missed a mark, Obst, hand pass, love it from Clarkson. Oh, two there, they can raffle it. Neitz and Farmer. So Neitz will line up for number six. But also, I'm interested in the way Glenn Lovett delivers the ball. He was the one getting it down. Lovett can deliver the ball. He's not over, over endowed with speed, but he gets the ball very quickly to his boot. Look at that. Just one, two step bang. And if he kicks this, Melbourne will have kicked 12 of the last 13 goals in this match. And there's Wine about to come back. Got a huge lead now for goal number six. Neats kicks. Neats goals. Six goals, two he's kicked. Three in this quarter, David Neats, but that was set up by Brett Lovett. And they seem to do it with Will at the moment, Melbourne. And the break just too far for Footscray. And we've still got five, six minutes left in this, the third quarter. It's amazing, Don, isn't it, when you've got a, a, a good player and heading towards a very good player, David Neitz. Oh, look, Melbourne have run hard from the other side of the ground. The Footscray players haven't. Here's Lovett. Here's Neitz again. will go wide. So he just needs some practice at leading. I mean, it's good, but it uh, really does make it an awkward kick. He is a lovely kick, as Don's mentioned. He, he likes his smooth-flowing run and instep. We've well, got me. <laughs> I'll try and do it, Peter, for you. As he lines up here, David Neitz, he's got a he, very deliberate head over the ball. There's a very taut instep. There's not much of a follow-through, but everything is just, just very neat and compact. Neat for Neitz, and a goal. 7-2 for the afternoon. Excellent. Don, your commentary excellent. was as poetry as David Neitz's kicking style. Yeah, poetry in motion, and... Uh, Actually, he's a better kick when he's a long way out because when he had a shot earlier, it was an awkward kicking style from the pocket. And here's the build-up as changes are being made. Hopgood off and uh, Uze back on. We've got Watts coming back on for Footscray. Well, he's getting himself almost into the record books because for Melbourne against Footscray, only Norm Smith, Fred Fanning on a couple of occasions, Gary Lyon, Mark Jackson and Kelvin Templeton have kicked more against the Bulldogs. It's like... Uh, which is named Baker in the 78 grand final, I think it was. He took them from everywhere. One of the great exhibitions of marking in our game. It's going back a bit, but I'm sure most people who were at that game would remember it. Tingay's kick. That's a good long roost. Needs at the back. Yes, no. Oh, oh. Is that a goal? That'll be goal of the year. <laughs> what a sensational roost. 63 points the difference. Well, when you're hot, you're hot. <laughs> and that's the only explanation you could give because he couldn't do this again if he tried. Eric Cantona would eat your heart out, eh? Just watch behind. Bang. <laughs> actually did well one like that done. last weekend with two swishes at it and got one that's off the right. ground. Yes. We he, did that on the sports world footy panel this morning and uh, 